Ladies and gentlemen, Papa Boris here, playing some more Guild of Dungeoneering. We have enough gold to unlock something new. We've already unlocked a class that I played with once and died on the first enemy. We unlocked the trinket that we plan to use. So now it's time to unlock some more equipment, I think. You can, by the way, just start saving all your gold to get a tier 2 class, but I just like to go with it because eventually you fight a big boss and then you get like a huge payout and you can just buy your preferred tier 2 class. You don't need to like save up to 500 and just not say not not spend anything and scrimp on every penny so from the remaining equipment options uh, again you can just buy them all or if you're like me you can look at them and say okay is there anything here that i actually want to pick up during the game so for the soldier's helmet it's one health which is totally fine scimitar nope i don't care about blade scale mail it's fine two health is okay i don't care about armor though mace don't care about sash Growth one is all right, but I don't care about Swift one. The only good card here is Flintlock. This is a really good one because Fire two, I do like the Fire, and if you have any Fire, you actually get to the third Fire rank with this, which is Ignite, which is awesome. It deals one magic damage and one magic damage every round for the rest of the fight to the enemy, and it gives you Fury, which is a bit weird. So Fury, it works for you like it works for enemies. If you're at half health or below, all your inc all your outgoing physical attacks do plus one damage. Um, since I will be playing with ironically melee oriented characters even though i take the magic loot this is actually kind of useful for me so it's not a bad choice so there's like one card here i really like and then two cards that are like yeah i'll take those because they're bonus health so there's like let's say one card i care about two i half care about so there's like a total of two caring points in the blacksmith over here i don't care about the tricorn i don't care about the corset growth one is fine but i don't care about it the Leatherbound Tome is good, gives me two ranks and skills I like. Skullcap is meh. Mage Robes is really great, because it gives me a rank in all the skills I like. And the Wolf Pelt is nice, too. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Growth, too, is as much growth as I want, and it gives plus one health. So this one's nice. It gives two good items and then one kind of okay item. So we'll call that two and a half points. And then this place... The conch is very interesting. I don't like taking stupidity, but it does give friggin' arcane three, which is awesome, so I will take that. Spyglass gives you the ranged ability. It makes it so that all of your physical attacks are swift, meaning that you execute that card before the monster executes theirs, so you can actually kill the monster on the turn you would die. I like the heater shield quite a bit. One health and two fire is just awesome. And then the arcane wand is also good with the arcane, although the growth I'm less excited about. So really here, there's the heater shield, which is super awesome. And then everything else is kind of like, okay, like the conch is like, it feels weird, but it's fine. And then the arcane wand is all right, but only the heater shield. So of all these things, the one that gives me the most stuff I'm excited about is this place with the leatherbound tome, the mage robes, and the wolf pelt being items I'm very happy to find during the run. I will eventually probably get all the tier one stuff because each of them has at least one card that I really like. Um, in the subsequent tiers, I might not get all the equipment that's available. You know what, let's just go ahead and do all of the stuff with the chump. Um, so the chump has two battle scars now. The chump has the upgraded flesh wound, so he starts with one fewer health, but is tenacious. So if that ever triggers, you basically get your health back. And it can really bail you out of a jam in some cases. And also starts with Arcane 1, which I like a lot. So I actually start the game. Well, can I actually see my deck? It doesn't show it here, but I actually start with that Arcane 1 card, which is 1 magic damage and draw a card. Okay, we're defeating 3 monsters here, so same exact dealio. There's no need to do anything weird. We'll just um, put that down, and put that down, and we'll just walk around this starting area. Oh, wait, I should have connected into these in case I stopped drawing level 1 monsters. Right, right, I forgot about that. Okay, so here... We'll just do two damage to its one, thanks to its frail ability. Simple start. We'll keep that block on hand for these types of negative effects. Discarding a card is really bad, because you just are down a card for the rest of the fight, and it can get into some awkward situations. We'll block this to prevent the damage. And then this is annoying, but we still do two damage over this block because of the frail ability. And if there's no block here... Okay, we don't kill this thing, because it does heal. But now it's back down to one hit point, and as long as it doesn't deal two damage to... Oh no, I'm tenacious! Ha! I don't care if it deals two damage to me, I would not die. And now I deal two damage to it, so I kill it through the healing and it dies. Okay, well we got our Leatherbound Tome here. It's a really nice level one item, because it gives two ranks and skills, so that's like 
complements of one of the equipment things that we bought. So now I have Arcane 2, which is awesome. It heals you for one, draws you a card, and then that other symbol means that your next magic attack deals plus one damage. So it's kind of nifty because it basically allows you to um, like play it and effectively do a magic damage on a turn when the enemy is playing a magic block. Also, as we shall see, in this game, um, there are certain times, there are some monsters against which uh, doing a bunch of damage at once is really useful, so this can build up if you don't have any cards that naturally do the requisite amount of damage. Okay, so let's go ahead and do Mind Strike here. So we do two damage because of the uh, build-up magic card that we played previously. And here, you know what, screw it, we'll just take a damage and lose a card, we've got so many cards here, it's fine. And so now the monster can't kill me because I'm tenacious, not that it has any three damage cards, any hoodle. And this will kill it through the healing, thanks to the frail ability. Okay, well I already have an offhand, so as cool as Kuppa is, I'd actually just lose a card. And then the barrel is stupid, and the fork is, I mean fine, I'll take it, it's two damage, it's probably going to make the deck a little bit better. I'm just not excited about it. All right, so now we just have to kill one more monster, so we'll just kill that thing. There's, you could challenge yourself by fighting a bandito, but there's no, no real point to it. The Fire Imp has some pretty sick cards, actually. Uh, so this is a little bit of a scarier fight than it may look. Let's heal up that damage, take a nice slow start. And notice this, this level one enemy has a stupidity card in its deck. It's definitely compensating for some pretty amazing stuff in there. Luckily, it's down to one hit point, and I'm tenacious, so there's absolutely nothing. There's a pretty strong card here, one damage of each type, but I can just take the damage and kill it. And that's that mission. Yep. Um, This is a pretty short video. Let's just do the other level one mission with the chump, so we can wrap up our time with the chump. Not enough gold to unlock anything, so let's just do another one with the chump. And, uh... In the next video, we'll give it another shot with the bruiser. Yeah, this video has been a really awesome, um, I guess I should, say, I should say the video series has been a really nice advertisement for the bruiser. Like, yeah, the bruiser's my favorite class, man. It's so great. I just love the bruiser. Fight with the bruiser, die against the first enemy, and then never play the bruiser again, and then go back to the starting class and just, like, rock all the things with it. Anyway, so... We have to collect two large chests in this mission. Look at the map carefully, though. This has a level three enemy guarding it. This is level two, so you want to go to this one first. And I did get lucky here. I could actually go either way up. Um, there is a bad fountain here. Decay is a pretty tough ability. It makes it so that if the monster deals two or more damage to you, you take an extra damage from it. I can probably handle that against a level one monster, but I don't see why I would need to. We've killed quite a few... What the... What? What? Why? Oh, okay, that was weird. I could have fought a monster, or I could have taken a bad fountain, so I took a bad fountain. Okay, that makes sense. I guess I am just going to not play anything. I don't want to take any chances. There is, like, this little line that shows you what the Dungeoneer is planning to do, but the awkward thing is that if you play a card that changes what your Dungeoneer is planning to do, then um, you can't like undo it, you can't change it back. So I did not want to play something that would change what the Dungeoneer was planning to do, like I'm pretty sure I can kill the spider, because I have a lot of physical damage, and the spider does not do um, more than one damage at a time with any of its cards that I can recall. So I can kill it, get rid of this fountain, because the fountain only affects the next fight, and then have that fountain off me, and get to playing the game. Okay, this is a really crappy selection. So there's the barrel, which we've seen in hate, the wooden stool, which we hate, because it has stupidity. If not for that, it'd be fine, and then the fork is just whatever. But I'll take the two physical damage card, and I'll be happy if I can replace that at some point. Okay, let's go ahead and fight a null. It's a little bit risky to do this. Ah, should I do it? What is this? So this is a zombie. So the zombie has decay, but a lot of hit points. Decay is the one where if you deal two damage to it, then it takes an extra damage. All right, we'll do a Null. I'm going to gamble that the Null's Fury is easier to deal with than the Zombie's Decay. We'll see if that is correct or not. So what you ideally want to do is not land on it having exactly three hit points. 
So here I could block some of the damage, but I'm actually going to play Mind Strike because this will do a damage to it. So now if I could deal two damage to it in one turn, I will kill it, which I can. Now it's worth noting this thing is actually doing two damage. I survived that, but even if I didn't, I have the Tenacious ability thanks to my Battle Scar, so I could have lived through that anyways. Also, I had that plus one health from the fountain, and that was kind of important there too, because if I didn't have Tenacious, that fountain would have been the reason why I survived. Okay, we got some good stuff here. Arcane one, Fire one is good, and then Crush one, Fire one is also fine, but I'll go for the Arcane. I have a battle scar that starts me with with one arcane, so it takes me up to two, and then the fire blast for two magical damage is welcome, especially because I'm about to fight the zombie who has decay, so doing two damage at once is quite useful. Okay, let's just uh, keep it real simple. We'll go. We're gonna go ahead and wait. What? 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 Oh no! Ah, my character is going up toward the level three enemy because he is level three, and I can't put this thing here because there's already a treasure chest in that spot. Oops. Okay, so do I think I can kill a fire elemental? more easily that I can kill a bear owl. Hmm, so the fire elemental has burn, which means both it and I take a damage at the beginning of each round. I have tenacious, which should, uh, actually, how does that interact with it at start of round? Yeah, that should help me. Okay, this could be a tragic mistake. Um, Like I could have just fought against the null, for example, to fish for an extra level two item. But if I win this, then I'm pretty much good to go because I will level up to four, get an extra hit point, and um, get an item, a level three item. Although this elemental does have a lot of hit points. Oh my God, uh, I'm in a lot of trouble here. So I guess we'll heal, but I still take a damage from the burning. Yeah, so this destination is gonna kick in. I had two damage, I had two health. Then I took a damage from the burning Ah, uh, crap. I think I might be screwed. I, sh I screwed myself by putting the- Oh, it does not work! Tenacious does not prevent you from burning! Well, we learned something! So bye-bye, chump. I lose my battle scars, which means that we're gonna have to try that mission again, and it'll be time for the bruiser to shine. Oh, the chump comes back right away. Interesting. I guess because they are chumps. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.